Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the recap of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 15, Episode 14. Today, we're going to be going over the Rumix, so blame it on the edit. So, yeah, let's just get into it. Let's get started. Okay, first, talking about Anitra, I liked how slow Anitra's verse was. Anitra's verse was the slowest, and I feel like that kind of fit the vibe of the song. Like, I think she had the least amount of words out of everybody. I mean, I'm, I don't technically know, but I'm just assuming. Um, and, you know, she really... I, f I feel like the, the pacing of her verse kind of went with the vibe of the song. And I do like really like her opening line, like the stepping on roaches and walking these ducks, because, like, it, I mean... Stepping on roaches, she's killing the competition, and she's, you know, walking the duck the way that she's killed this competition. Um, those are, those are kind of my two main positives about her verse. Um, the negatives, I feel like her verse, besides the, that for opening line, was pretty generic. It felt like a standard drag race verse. Like, you know, of like, yeah, I'm, I'm serving, hair flip, yakety kak kak you know? <laughs> that was... <laughs> I don't know, make, make myself fucking laugh. Um, but yeah, it kind of just like felt like that. Um, and it really, yeah, it was just kind of basic to me and it didn't give me much. Um, I do think her verse was leagues better. Um, and like her verse and performance were leagues better than the girl groups challenge, the like old lady girl groups um, that they did earlier in the season, like for sure was better. Um, I also really like this outfit. I, it really, you know, it feels like a start and a finish, like, because she wore um, one of these, like, helmets um, in, as her entrance look, and this kind of whole outfit is reminiscent of that, and so, like, kind of starting and closing the season with these similar outfits, I feel like is really smart. Um, and, yeah, I, she, I, she obviously, look at her, she looks amazing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, I would say Anitra probably did my third best, or was my third favorite. Uh, this week. Alrighty, talking about Miss Lux Noir London. Um, uh, I'll start with her look. I don't know why I want to start with the look. I just do. The look is fine in this challenge. It feels, it does kind of feel slightly like what I, it, it does kind of feel like what Lux might wear to like some space agey thing a little bit, but it's kind of, it's kind of basic compared to um, really everybody else's looks. It's, it's, but it's, you know, it's fine. Um, I really did like Lux's verse, though. I like the switching between, like, the actual singing and, you know, the, and, like, the kind of, like, rapping of it. Um, and I do feel like the first, like, solid half, the singing part, I felt like the lyrics, you know, were, um, you know, they, they kind of, you know, fit into, the, like, a mold that I kind of expect for, for, for Lux and kind of for Drag Race, but they did feel different. It felt fresh, um, even though, you know, if you had kind of taken those lyrics and put them into a rap, it wouldn't have felt fresh. I think the way that she delivered them felt very fresh and was very exciting. Um, the second half of her verse, I feel like it's kind of like standard Drag Race, you know, fair, um, but... It was still pretty good. I feel like it was, you know, it, it felt it felt like quintessential, like what that kind of lyrics should be, um, and wasn't just like generic that lyrics. You know what I mean? I feel like Lux did a pretty damn good job in this, um, and I would say it's definitely my second favorite of, of the night. Sasha Colby was far and away my favorite tonight in the lyrics, in this look, everything. She really. She really was wrapping it down, and I like, and it, it and she was kind of, it, it, it was just like, like when like when Lemon from Drag Race Canada says she's a straight up motherfucking rapstress. Sasha Colby is my straight up motherfucking rapstress. I mean, she delivered those lines perfectly. And it was in such a cadence in a style that we've never seen on the show and fit so well with the vibe of the song. And the lyrics were like, you know, it felt, it felt, you know, like, you know, here's why I should win, here's why I'm great lyrics, but were so, felt so perfectly catered towards the essence that is Sasha Colby. And this look is alien-esque in the context and it fits with, you know, this kind of spaceship um, you know, Michael and Janet Jackson, a scream music video thing that we got going on. My cat is in my lap purring, so if you hear it, I apologize. But I honestly don't, because she's a very good girl. Um, 
she's licking my finger right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I I have no complaints. She she was perfect. I love Sasha's I love Sasha's performance in this so much. Alrighty, on to Mistress Isabel Brooks. I her outfit. We'll start with the outfit again. <laughs> the outfit uh, was was pretty alright. Um, it it felt it felt like a. This is gonna. I feel like this is gonna come across as shady, but it's not. I don't mean it to be shady. This feels like a quintessential Mistress Isabel Brooks performance outfit, which I find very nice. I'm like it's uh, which I find is like a good fucking you know dance performance costume. I feel like Mistress. I mean. There's really only two, like, I can only think of two looks off the top of my head this season from Mistress that I wasn't immediately, like, uh, that I wasn't immediately like, oh, this is great, you know? I can only think of a couple looks that it didn't make me feel that way. This look is, it, it makes, comp it, I wish it was more spacey, uh, but I feel like, you know, for, you know, performing it and stuff, like, hell yeah, good for her. I like it. Her verse felt very Drag Race to me. Which I, I kind of, I, throughout this video, I've been kind of insinuating as like an insult, and it kind of is, because it's not, it's not inherently bad, it's just with, you know, we've had so many verses on Drag Race at this point that like I crave to see something different, and also with this concept of you have this, you know, like almost in a spaceship black and white music video thing, there are different ways you could pull this that would fit so well with the theme. But she just doesn't pull it anywhere. She keeps it standard, and it doesn't excite me. And I really, like, I can immediately pull lyrics from everybody else's verses, but I really, I, 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 thinking about it in this moment, I cannot think of any for mistresses. <laughs> so I would say mistress probably was my least favorite this week, but that doesn't mean she did a bad job. I feel like she did a pretty standard, like, good job in this challenge. Alrighty, going over the runways, I think everybody had a great runway. I loved Anitra's. It felt, I mean, we've seen Anitra in a lot of the same silhouette throughout the season, which really hasn't bothered me uh, because she's looked damn good in every single one. Um, but I really like seeing, you know, this kind of different silhouette for Anitra. I love the wedding dress idea that Lux went with. And I mean, Sasha and Mistresses were both just like, they're like quintessential kind of pageanty, you know, you know, drag gowns, and they both look amazing. So like, I have no complaints about anybody's looks. Um, and I do think the placements this episode were correct, um, though I feel like, again, I I I feel like this should have just been like a top four, like everybody performs and we're done, yay! Like uh, the rigmarole of having a bottom two, especially when eventually RuPaul saves both of them, kind of is like. Okay, well, what was the fucking point <laughs> to me? We do, however, in this episode, get a very fun lip sync song, uh, When Love Takes Over by David Guetta featuring Kelly Rowland. Um, and this is a great song. I've, I've always loved this song. And I feel like I really wish they would have done this earlier in the season when they weren't wearing gowns. Um, and honestly, even even though I've seen that online a lot, and I also wish it was, a case, was the case, I think this song is still kind of difficult to do like, even just if you have, like, a dance body, like, a dancing, like, bodysuit on, you know? And I say that because this song really does oscillate a lot between, you know, kind of this, like, kind of, like, like, heartfelt singing of, um, Kelly Rowland, and then, you know, kind of these, like, electronic dancey beats, uh, that happen, like, in between, and it, I, I, I feel like somebody obviously can't perform the song super well, but my brain is struggling of like, you know, how, like, should you go more dancey with this or should you go more ballady? Because I feel like both could work and that doesn't really happen with a lot of songs. Um, like, I really, I can't think of any other songs off the top of my head where I would be considering that. Um, so, I mean, I feel like this song is, I feel like kind of difficult to actually perform super well. And I feel like overall, um, Mistress and Anitra both performed very well to the song. Well, not very well. <laughs> that, that sounded so much more shady than I meant to be. Uh, but, um, I mean, I feel like they both did a pretty good job with it. Like, yeah, pretty good job, I'd say, is, is the conclusion I'm reaching. So who's gonna win Drag Race? I don't know. 
I really don't know. Um, I, <laughs> I just realized the, the cropping of these pictures, the way it happened, it obviously fucked a couple things up that I wasn't able to fix, but I just noticed right now that it looks like there's like a toothpick sticking out of Sasha's butt. I'm not going to draw any more attention to it. <laughs> I am not sure, honestly, who's going to win. I I swear I did not look at spoilers for, spoilers for this season, but I was able to kind of clock this top four, like, um, week four or something? Week five, maybe? I don't rem remember exactly uh, when I first chose these four as the top four. Um, but... I mean, I feel like I feel like that means that either means they're editing the show very well, or they're editing the show too obviously. <laughs> and I don't know exactly which one would be, would be better. The fact that it, like, is it a good is it good that I was able to clock it so early? I don't know. But regardless, I mean, I think just truly based off of fan reception and the fact that. You know, they're obviously going to be performing in the finale. I don't think they're doing the lip sync smackdown, from what I can tell. Sorry if I, 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 I might may be spoiling if you if you don't know, and if well, if I'm correct as well. Um, but I mean, and I thankfully have avoided the spoilers online so far. But they're kind of doing, I think they're doing individual performances like last season, and then they're going to like choose a top two. Is kind of what it seems to be, or at least that's just my guess. Um, if that is the case, I. I mean, I feel like regardless of who makes the top two, I think Sasha or Anitra is winning the season. I, I really do think so. Because they have just gotten so much love throughout the fandom the entirety of the season. And I don't think in, in this day and age, you know, that Drag Race is going to award a person who has presented, who has been presented more negatively on the show. I don't think they're gonna choose them as the winner unless they feel like they have no other choice. You know, like I, like like for example, um, season ten, um, like obviously we had the situation, um, in the lip sync SmackDown there, where um. Uh, you know, Asia versus Cameron, Asia releases the butterflies, and, you know, the, that whole debacle happens, so they're kind of forced to choose Cameron to move on. Um, and then in Aquaria versus Eureka, the fans were not a big, were not very fond of, of Eureka um, throughout the course of, you know, the airing of the season. Uh, but, you know, Aquaria does worse in the lip sync against Eureka and falls during it has been confirmed, but it wasn't shown. And so they're kind of stuck in a position in that situation where, you know, they feel like they have to move Eureka on to the final lip sync, in which case, based off a of track record and off of everything, it would be so that Eureka would win, which, you know, would be, you know, kind of the I, I, I say villain with air quotes around it, of the season winning. However, they chose, because they did, they did not want to do that, they chose to edit out the fall. It chose that they were going to edit out the fall and make it so that it was a double safe between Aquaria and Eureka so that they could crown Aquaria and everything would be fine. So I, you know, knowing Drag Race and it's desire to really not want to crown uh, somebody who's been, you know, shown more negatively on the show in that way. I just don't see a scenario where Lux or Mistress win unless, you know, something like season 10 happens, but worse. <laughs> um, which I just don't imagine being the case. Because Sasha and Anitra are really two of the, the two best lip syncers, I would say, of the season. And I feel like, I don't think that's an unpopular opinion. Um, they're really two of the best performers. And so I would be shocked if at least one of them doesn't make like the final, final lip sync. And I think whichever one does, if not both of them, will win. And if both of them do, I genuinely could see the case for either of them winning. Because obviously Sasha is like, Sasha's won four challenges, never in the bottom two. Is Sasha Colby 
So like, obviously, like, you know, like, it, w it would make sense for Sasha to win because she is she's just so legendary and she did so well in the competition. But also, Anitra is so adored by the fan base and just, you know, by, by like, it is kind of, you know, like, it has done amazing for herself on the show and has been received so positively. And I feel like if Anitra were to pull out some real big stunt during the finale, there is an absolute chance that they would give the crown to Anitra. So yeah, I think that is going to be it for this video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you wish. Tell me all your thoughts, feelings, opinions down below. Uh, yeah, again, thank you all so much for watching, and as always, take care. Bye-bye.